Hey guys, so I just felt like vlogging today. I was supposed to be filming an actual like proper beauty video and I'm getting a text message right now. Um, yeah, I was supposed to be filming an actual beauty video today but I don't feel a, like 100% and I just don't feel in the mood to film so I don't want to make myself feel, film and try to be happy and upbeat and it just comes across as fake. So I'm going to film tomorrow. I've got tomorrow off. Today's Sunday. Um, so yeah, me and Ben are on our way to Whitlingham Park in the hopes that kind of going out and getting some fresh air and having a bit of a walk around is going to help me feel a bit better. So that's where we're headed. So I thought, you know what, why not just vlog it? So that's what we're doing. We just stopped at Boots to grab some lunch and a couple of bits and pieces. And we are now kind of stuck in traffic, if I assure you. Oh, <laughs> dropping the phone. We're just kind of waiting to get out of the Boots car park at the moment. So yeah, I will vlog some more a bit later, probably once we get there. So this is Whitlingham Park and it's really pretty just walking into it. There's Benjamin. Hello. <laughs> it's very pretty here. But also quite windy because we have got hurricane-like winds expected to come kind of tonight slash tomorrow morning. So that's going to be fun. But this is really nice. We've just stopped to have some lunch. And this is our view. So we are on our way round. And it's very windy, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, I don't really have that much to say, to be honest. It's nice. It's a bit windy, but the sun's kind of out. It's kind of cloudy. If you can see that. And there's a runner coming. But yes, I thought I would just come on here and see what you guys think of this hurricane. And I've kind of, as I've just said that... Oh, there's a puddle here. As I've just said that, I've kind of realised that by the time you've seen this, the hurricane-like winds will have probably hit and it'll all be over and it'll probably not be as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. <clears throat> but, oh, it's really windy! I don't know if you can hear me! But yeah, the last time we had a hurricane in this country, I slept through it, but I was two. Whereas now I have a few more things to worry about, like my house and my garden getting wrecked by these winds. Um, and how my cats are going to be, if they're going to be freaked out and scared. Because, side note, I don't think I've mentioned this. I mentioned it on Twitter and Instagram, I think, but my cat's now at our house, so that makes me very happy. Oh, we're by the lake now. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you. It's very pretty. It's very big as well. I'm not sure how big this lake is. We need to find a signboard that will tell us how kind of mileage wise it is to walk around it. I'm not making any sense. I swear I don't speak English half the time. But yeah, this is the lake that we're kind of walking all the way around. So it might take us a little while. And the sky is looking pretty angry and the winds are getting up. So I'm going to go now. This is Bella. I'm not sure if I've ever actually introduced you guys to my cats before, but this is Bella. She's the youngest of the two cats I have. She is four, I believe. And then Misty is up on this chair here. And Misty is nine in December. So she's the older of the two and she's a lot bigger than she should be. I'm trying to get her weight down at the moment. And she's kind of the grumpier of the two cats. She doesn't really like being picked up and held or she's not really a very cuddly cat. Whereas Bella is a much more cuddly cat and um, usually kind of in the evening time she'll come and she'll cuddle up next to me and snuggle and she's really cute. Hey you baby. Bella. Good girl. What are you doing? I think she wants some food but it's not tea time yet. Cool girl. So yeah, they are now here. And yeah. And it's really blustery outside. You can tell by the trees and everything. The wind's kind of getting up now. So I think the storm is supposed to hit kind of around um, sort of between four and six o'clock tomorrow morning. So that should be fun for everybody as they're kind of heading out to work or kind of getting ready to go out. 
luckily, like I said um, earlier, luckily I've got tomorrow off. Um, although I am popping out in the afternoon, so hopefully it will have all died down and be okay by the afternoon. Ben has now gone to the gym, so I am going to be watching a little bit of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 1, because I love Buffy. And side note, I've just tried these nine bars, and they are absolutely delicious. And they're lactose-free, they're dairy-free, wheat-free, um, they're great for pretty much anybody who has an intolerance to... I want to say almost anything. I'm sure it's not it's not that kind of extensive, but it's free of a lot of stuff that people tend to be intolerant or allergic to. So these are really great and they are so yummy. So yeah, just wanted to mention that to you guys. So the food shopping has been delivered and we ordered quite a lot. So I've just got everything out and we got some muesli for Ben, some snacker jacks for him to snack on these um, Jordan's Fruisley bars, like cereal bars, for me to snack on. Um, two loaves of bread because we kind of go through about a loaf of bread a week and it was I think it was something like two for two pounds um, offer on them so I thought I'll get two and I can freeze one of them. Two packs of these New York Bakery cinnamon and raisin bagels because we both really like those, they're yummy. Um, I got some dried cranberries um, walnut pieces and some squeezy honey for Ben because he likes to have all that on his cereal. Then over here we have a lot of pasta. Um, this is whole wheat pasta. I prefer whole wheat pasta to kind of white pasta. I just prefer the taste of it. So we've got that because Ben's going to be having that with his lunches and we've got it for just to kind of have in. Um, some whole wheat spaghetti to have with spaghetti bolognese I'm going to be doing tomorrow night. Um, two tins of the extra sweet pepper bolognese sauce. Some bananas back there. Um, we've got some soup here. I've got the lamb and veg ones and Ben's got the Angus steak and veg ones. Some ketchup because we were running out, some chicken oxo stock cubes to have on the rosemary chicken that I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, we've got some sliced chicken breast which Ben has with his pasta, um, a tub of blueberries. We've got all of these kind of veg here. I've got some carrots which I'm just going to cut up to snack on for me. And then I've got a courgette, some peppers, some cherry tomatoes, and this is a packet of sweet potato and butternut squash, which I'm going to roast all of that and have that with couscous. We're going to have that on Wednesday. And then here we've got the mince for the spaghetti bolognese and the chicken for the rosemary chicken for tonight's tea. I've got a couple of packs of these bird's eye uh, light and crunchy breaded chicken breasts for the freezer, just to kind of have in, just kind of, if we don't really feel like cooking or anything like that, or... Thursday nights, um, Ben goes running, so on that night he kind of gets back a bit late and he'll just cook himself something, so it's nice just to have something like this in. And then I saw these on offer and I thought I would grab them because I haven't had anything like this in ages. It's chicken space shapes, which I know is kind of childish of me, but like I said, I haven't had them in ages and I kind of checked to see if I could have them, expecting them to have some sort of dairy in them, and they didn't. So I was like, I'm adding those to the basket because I haven't had anything like that for so long. And the last thing that we've got is some hash browns because again, I haven't had those for a while. So I think that's going to be it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I know it's kind of short and we didn't really do all that much, to be honest. Just kind of went to Whitlingham Park and then got back and watched Buffy. Well, I watched Buffy, Ben went to the gym and, you know, got the food shopping and that kind of stuff. So nothing really all that exciting. So I hope this wasn't too boring for you to watch. But that's what I've done this Sunday or me, what me and Ben did this Sunday. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and are having a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.